Hello everyone, this is Take from BigHeadTalker.com and welcome to BHT Studios. I thought I would do a a quick two minute Tuesday, but it's not even Tuesday, it's, it's Friday. But I wanted to get a video up. I've been busy doing a lot of little projects, but I haven't been producing a lot of YouTube videos, so I thought I would do a quick one. And uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about, so the last two minute Tuesday tip thing I did was about aspect ratio. And this time what I thought I would talk about is about um, having pictures that are connected, uh, meaning having a series of photographs that are, uh, follow a single theme. With uh, Instagram and other ways of sharing photos, often as photographers, we're after the one picture that gets the most likes or the one picture that's epic and then we post it, but it doesn't, and maybe that one picture itself has its own story, but there's no longevity to it. It's just one picture. And so think about it in this way that can, do you have enough photos of a series on a theme that you can create a magazine or a photo book? Especially if you've been shooting for many years, is there something that you can connect together? So it doesn't have to be like all birds, all trees, or all street photography, but a theme that maybe runs a little bit deeper, and often it is geography. We think of Ansel Adams and his work in Yosemite Park, and Greg Gerard with his work at the Kowloon Walled City. But we can also think about uh, st stylistically, uh, you know, like Bruce Gilden with his flash style street photography, or, you know, a theme like uh, Renzo Grande, a friend of mine, has this 24 hour project where he connects people from all the world to shoot on the same day, one hour every day for 24 hours. So a concept like that, so that there is more than just a one off photo. So as a photographer, if you're competent, but you're kind of feeling that uh, you're not inspired, maybe it's because you don't have a long-term project uh, that you can look back on. And with that long-term project, when you share it on something like Instagram, use a hashtag that connects that project. So even in a very small way, what I would do is if you notice, when I go on a trip, I would call it BHT for Big Head Taco, and then the city, uh, often the airport code or just sort of the initial, so BHT HK for Hong Kong, and then I'll say 2018. So all the pictures I took in Hong Kong for that time period, right? So that's very, very um, superficial. It's just, this is a year, this is a city, and this is me, my brand. But at least when you type in that hashtag, it groups it all into one uh, group, and you can actually, um, email off that, that link as a hashtag. So if you want to show someone a series of photographs that you've done, uh, and one of the silly ones I have is sad face model faded poster, but have something that, that you are working on. You can work on multiple sort of parallel themes at the same time. And so maybe you're pursuing five or six different projects at the same time, but at least you're motivated to go out there and look for something and look for images that you can connect. And so that's just my quick, uh, two minute Tuesday that's over two minutes and it's not even Tuesday. Maybe you guys can comment down below for a better name for this, but that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, by the way, this is a Leica M3 with the collapsible 50. Is it an Elmer? Let me just say, yeah, Elmer M from Terry G. Thank you, Terry. We'll talk to you soon.